Hello everyone, Savartek here and in this tutorial I will show you how to install Windows 10 from scratch. Uh, whether it is because your computer is glitching, has viruses or anything won't work. If you want to clean uh, the computer, reset it or just install Windows 10 on it, I'm going to show you how to do that from scratch uh, from the boot menu. Although it may seem scary, it is completely easy and normal thing to do. So uh, one thing you'll need is a USB thumb drive and once you have that, I'll walk you through the process and you won't have to worry about anything. So let's get straight to it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is prepare your USB for Windows installation. Um, you're going to need the USB plugged in in a working Windows computer and it needs to have nothing on it um, because we're going to format it, right? So make sure you have no files important on there. And you're going to need to go there on your browser and type in Rufus download. And on the Rufus website, you'll scroll down and download the portable version of Rufus. Rufus is a tool that is used to create uh, installation media for Windows or any other operating system, really. Um, we'll close Rufus because we have downloaded it. And now we're going to download Windows 10, the ISO of Windows 10. So you'll put ISO iTechTix behind Windows 10 download. As I type it here, open that website. This website allows you to download very conveniently. On the web, Windows website, it won't let you download a Windows ISO if you're using a Windows device. It's crazy. So you're going to need to select uh, download ISO, but make sure you select 64-bit. Okay. And um, once you got that, you can click on download ISO. You click on download ISO and wait for it to download. Once it is downloaded fully, it'll take a while. But once that is done, you can open Rufus. We'll click no. And Take a look at these options and take a look at them very carefully. Make sure you're selecting the USB thumb drive on the device part. And here we'll leave it on disk.iso. We'll select the ISO which is downloaded here. And we'll click on open. Again, make sure it's on the USB that you're going to be using. Um, on image option, we'll click on, we'll leave it on win standard Windows installation. Partition scheme is going to be GPT. You might want to choose MBR if GPT didn't work. But for most of you, GPT will work. Okay, so sometimes it's kind of a, a trial and error thing. So don't skip this part if you haven't done this before, guys, because it's really important. right? And if you have any questions about target systems and things like that, if you're getting more options, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll be sure to respond within 24 hours. Here, you're going to leave it on NTFS, New Technology File System. If you have the option for FAT32 or XFAT, um, it depends on your computer. You might want to choose XFAT or FAT32. Um, but for most computers nowadays, NTFS should work and it should boot properly. Again, it's sort of a trial and error with these options. Um, but the two options you want to take care of a lot about is file system and partition scheme. So we'll get started here, click OK, OK, and let it load. For some of you, this might take hours. For some of you, it might take just minutes. But we got done here. We're going to close and move to the next steps. Next up, insert the USB in the computer that you're going to be installing Windows on and find the boot menu key. Mine is the escape key, but for you, if you're not sure, check the link in the description where I will list which uh, boot key is associated with your machine. So what you want to do is um, you're going to need to tap the boot key repeatedly for me as escape and then power on as you're doing that. And you keep tapping it until it shows the boot screen. Okay, now we stop because we now can see the boot menu screen and I will select the UEFI PNY USB. You're looking for keywords UEFI and USB. Okay. And once we boot, we're going to go full screen here and click next. 
Well, let's select some options here first. I want to choose US English for and then install. Say I don't have a product key for now. And I'll go with Windows 10 Home, click next. Accept next. Custom install. And here we want to select drive zero and then click next. Well, you see, if you are seeing multiple drive partitions like this, it's because your drive has been divided into multiple rooms. So what you want to do is you want to click and delete every partition until you are left with, until you cannot delete anymore, basically. Just select everything you can delete and delete until you can delete anymore. If you're not going to ruin anything, just know that if you had any files on your computer, um, they will be formatted in this stitch like here they will be gone because what we're doing is we're basically resetting until you have one line left or two and you're gonna select a line click next and fast forward it'll go through the steps by loading up rebooting and Cortana will have to guide you through the next set of steps um, you'll choose your own settings based on your preferences I will skip that part and once you go through this it'll give you the welcome screen and you're done with your Windows installation guys so don't forget to subscribe like the video comment ask questions please do because I'll respond within 24 hours and support the channel in any way you can thank you